Okay, what's up guys? We are here in Ilog Maria or River of Mary located in the town of Silang in the province of Cavite. This is a honey far honey farm and it's not historical but there's a lot of organic products that we can see. Okay, let's go and check it out. The patriarch Joel Magsaysay started keeping honeybees in Mandaluyong, Metro Manila in the late 70s. It began as a hobby with two colonies in their garden. There were many attempts to develop a technology, therefore untried, untested. Very few were interested in honeybees. He studied everything he can and eventually became a beekeeper. Joel realized that the best weather to raise vegetation and bees were in Tagaytay in Cavite. With his friend Ian Aranza, who got him started in beekeeping, was building a house there. For years, they were looking for a place to settle in. Joel and his mom found a nameless stream tucked away amidst the dense vegetation. He touched the cool water of the stream and said, This is it. He first built a small hut with materials donated from his aunt's old house and started to plant vegetables and fruit trees, the essentials. Then came black pepper, coffee, bananas, papayas, fruit crops, peanuts, mahogany, nara, and bamboo. As for his bees, they traveled as far as Mindoro, Arayat, Batangas, Los Baños, Laguna, and Cavite. They were able to harvest a ton of honey from only 10 colonies. Several years later, he met Violaine Valera. She was keeping one colony of bees in her front yard in Quezon City. He offered to teach her, and they became close. During the time in 1987, an El Nino or drought savaged the country and the farm. His mother prayed for the Virgin Mary for rain, and it worked. A month later, Joel and Violaine were married. His friend Ian gave them a few colonies as a wedding gift, and they promptly loaded them in their old bee trailer. It was indeed a honey boon. About a year and a half, they welcomed their first child, Jonathan. Then came Leah, James, and Marion, each two and a half years apart. They all led a happy, simple life in the farm. Each child took care of one that followed. They lived in the farming lifestyle with enthusiasm. They relished harvesting their own food and eating everything fresh. The kids have the whole big farm to play with. Everyone was happy, except for the lack of money. In 1989, the University of the Philippines, Los Baños, joint venture with the family. Thus, the UPLBM B program was born. The UPLB B program trained people from all walks of life, educators, students, professionals, and farmers. And the local beekeeping industry started to flourish. In 1994, they parted ways, and the family was once again penniless. Rather than to feel defeated or forsaken, they feel exhilarated and hopeful. That same year, Joel had gone to town to the local office of the Department of Trade and Industry and applied a name for their livelihood. The couple agreed to Ilug Maria Honey Bee Farm in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, with whom his mother, Lilia, had prayed for the rain. In order to sell and get their brand out there, the family attended fairs and bazaars. It was always a big effort. They would harvest from their bees, they would go to San Juan to buy bottles, Kalaokan to buy caps, Claro M. Recto Avenue to buy test tubes and little glass containers. They would pack their meager harvest in them at home and run back to Manila. All this with their growing family inside their old battered land cruiser. The family was poor. But with whatever little savings they had, they spent on books. They learned to make soap, shampoo, mosquito repellent, ointment, lip balm, throat spray, and many more. They found original recipes and formulations 
some over 200 years old. They found modern replacements for ancient ingredients, all natural. Slowly produced most of the time, they used their own kitchen and kitchen materials and utensils. They would give little gifts of soap and other handmade goodies for special occasions, such as birthdays or Christmas. This was an era of pre-cell phone, pre-internet, and pre-blog age, but the word got around. A trickle of visitors came looking for their household items. So the family intensified and increased their studies, discovering many nutritive and healing qualities of honey, pollen, beeswax, propolis, and royal jelly. The bee staff turned their products from good to fantastic. The family could not afford to buy commercial production equipment. Commercial production equipment also is not suited to handmade, specially formulated products. So they invented and fabricated with their own. Everything was made from scratch. They built a website so people can read about their products and order here without leaving home. The need for other outlets aside from their farm store has been slowly vanishing. In the future, this is Joel Magsaysay's own quote. We have decreased our wants to the level of our needs. We are content. We still have some dreams. Dreams for the future for our children. But we have learned not to plan. We do our homework and work very hard from sunrise to sunset. We just live day by day doing the best we can with each moment. We were here at the store. I mean, you see, this is the main store where you can buy the products made from honey. See, they have this, they have a soap, soap made of sandalwood and honey. This. Also have shampoo. They also make a wax candle. Candles, face oil, powder, face scrub, hair gel, hair oil. I hope you guys enjoy your um, adventure today. Till next time, bye. So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell. Come on guys, hit the bell. For notifications. And don't forget to share. And like.